The trends for uh, tractors have been uh, uh, business is up. It's been uh, it's been running at uh, very high levels in the last three years. 2009 was a big year. 2010 was even bigger, and uh, and 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 2011 has uh, has been relatively flat. But when you're running at uh, at, at the production levels we're at, it's we're running full speed ahead. Uh, our customers are really talking about uh, fuel efficiency they, as the, the the buzz really is increased horsepower and as we increase in horsepower they 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 expect more fuel use for the horsepower but they want the overall efficiency of the tractor to be higher so as we go up in horsepower they're looking for ways to save fuel overall and that's why we believe our uh, tier 4 solution has really delivered that very well to our customers and as we look forward to delivering higher horsepower four wheel drives we'll see that even further well, overall, uh, in production agriculture, uh, sales are very good. In fact, we just had our first quarter results, uh, which were very positive, and we've actually predicted for the end of the year a 15% increase overall uh, in sales. And last year was a record year, so that's, that's pretty substantial, and it tells you how strong agriculture is, not only in the United States, but around the world. Well, some of the biggest changes that we've seen, say, the last two to seven years, certainly would be the implementation of Tier 4 technology. As we moved in specifically in 2011 to having needing to meet Tier 4 interim emission standards, the biggest change that we've seen across the board is manufacturers on a whole, whether that be John Deere, CNH, Agco, all of us have had to incorporate some sort of Tier 4 technology in order to meet emission standards. That along with technology, as, as with any industry, technology has played a key role and certainly the technology that we're adopting to these machines has been a big part of the overall change in the last few years to equipment. Well, one thing with uh, farmers at the moment is they're looking more towards GPS systems and also for better solutions for their individual farms. So one thing with our customers is they're looking for more diversity with their machinery, with their tractors, so that they're not just using the tractor that 200 hours a year that they can get more hours during the year for the machines. That's where the class Zarian tractor is going to be used. Now in the combine side and stuff like that, we'll get more into GPS and also production measures that they want to keep their costs at a minimum and also maintain a premium let's say, throughput and capacity. I've been with Versatile for 30 years and I can see a lot of changes and one thing we can definitely see is the increase in the horsepower. You know, some, some years ago we said we'd never get any bigger and so on, but we're getting bigger. The other thing is, of course, we're into the emissions technologies that we have to meet up with and, and, and meet the requirements, and, which is a good thing for all involved. Uh, and, and thirdly is we're going in more into the electronic age with the, the GPS, with uh, the electronic control systems, uh, auto steer and so on. So that's a trend I've seen going on.